you see the castle or the, or the troubadour? <laughs> I, 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 I never knew it was a troubadour until, until this morning. But it makes it sense, you know? Going around doing his troubadour things. Oh, so the next piece is the, by uh, Robert Schumann. And this is a piece, interestingly enough, the next two pieces I looked up on my program from the junior recital that I did with David Abosh at BU. And this and the winter's past were one uh, half of the, of the uh, program, so you're gonna hear what I hopefully sounded like, or maybe a little better than <laughs> when I was, <laughs> or maybe not as beautiful. You know, <laughs> but anyway, just an interesting thing about the Romantic era, that whole, uh, and, and the orchestra, because if you'll know, the Baroque orchestra was a very small orchestra because of the instruments. The instruments, the violins didn't switch. I mean, there, there was no technology jump in that. But in order to allow for the, for the large orchestras of the, of the Romantic era, the technology of the instruments had to improve. There's no way that the Baroque oboe, and I have one, and I could bring it, it's just, it just, the technology of the instruments came up so much to allow, and, and the clarinet was not even invented, do you realize that? Huh. The clarinet was invented in Mozart's time. So anyway, this piece of music, and it's brought out by our fabulous pianist, Cheryl yeah. Savorsky, you'll hear these just, these rich, and I put it in the liner notes, this is the rich chordal progressions that you'll hear in this, so hopefully you'll enjoy Romance Number 1 by Schumann.
Everybody take a breath for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>